Now, the NYPD is dealing with another tragedy this morning after a second officer this week dies by suicide. This latest death marks the ninth suicide within the ranks of the NYPD this year alone. CBS News' Jenna DeAngelis joins us live from police headquarters in Lower Manhattan. Jenna. Chris and Mary, another tragedy for the police department. The latest NYPD suicide involves an off-duty officer who was a veteran of the force. And you mentioned nine suicides already this year. That's more than double the number of last year, which was four. And you can see in this video, officers behind yellow tape at a home in Laurelton, Queens, responding to the death of one of their own. Law enforcement sources tell CBS2 officer Robert Echevera shot himself in the head in his home. His wife found him and called 911. The officer was rushed to Long Island Jewish Medical Center, but he couldn't be saved. The 56-year-old was with the NYPD for 25 years. A neighbor described him as a cool, calm-mannered guy who loved his two kids. This is now the second time this week an NYPD officer has taken his own life. Commissioner James O'Neill spoke about the rise in officer suicides yesterday. I think about having to respond to shootings and homicides and People hit by trains and people hit by by uh, by vehicles. And you know, think about that what what that does to a police officer. Now it's a time for all of us to come together. It's a mental health crisis. I think the critical step forward here is uh, peer support, and then make sure that once we steer that person to help, that that helps effective, yeah. and that they understand that this is not an end to their career. Last month, the department launched a task force to prevent officer suicides. Peer teams were also starting to go around police precincts. If you're an officer who needs help, you can text BLUE to 741-741 or go to nypdnews.com slash BLUE741-741. And O'Neill says about 800 NYPD staff members will be training this month with experts on mental health, stress, and suicides. The goal is to eventually train the entire department. We're live outside NYPD headquarters in Lower Manhattan. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News.